What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now before we get started with today's video, which is State of the Saints heading into week 12, I would like to ask you if you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It would help me immensely. We're, uh, we're trying to make our way to 10,000 subscribers and we're barreling towards it. 8,500 strong. Before we get started, I would like to say happy Thanksgiving to each and every one of you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the food you had, the time with your family you had, and even though that the football games that were on today sucked absolute ass we, we could still talk to football today about our team the new orleans saints usually we would be playing the atlanta falcons today but that didn't happen and we had to watch the texans play the lions and the cowboys play the redskins which are two things that i would never ever ever want to ever do with my own will i would have to be forced to do something like that because that's just a waste of time if anything watch the condensed highlights afterwards it's a shit fest either game you watch so just watch the highlights after here is some nice football talk to get out you out of that football funk you're in with those terrible games that were ho hosted by the NFL today on Thanksgiving. A disgrace to Thanksgiving football, even though Deshaun Watson did play really good. So yes, stay to the Saints heading into week 12. So as you know, we had Dr. Noss in last week because the injuries were pretty profound. The injury report this week is definitely kind of extensive, but it's nothing crazy and a little bit misleading in a little bit of the categories that we have today. Uh, even even though it's nothing crazy though, we will still be bringing Dr. Noss in to go over it just because for some reason our players just dislike staying healthy and refuse to do so over a week to week basis. So let's go ahead and bring up Dr. Noss right now. All right. I'm here, okay? I'm not as pissed off because today wasn't supposed to be a day off. I already knew I was going to be coming back after Drew Brees died on the field. Um, luckily, he doesn't really count against this injury report because he is on IR. So he's not technically, he doesn't technically have an injury designation at all. It's just he's on IR and it's common knowledge that he won't be playing. Uh, but welcome back to the hospital bed we call the New Orleans Saints. Okay, I'm joking. You may have dropped a nuclear warhead size shit in your pants after you've seen the injury report today. If you haven't seen it yet, don't go look at it and form your own opinion because it can be scary. We have two players on there that are a bit important to this offense. That's all I'm going to say but I'm here to tell you that regardless of that it's all gonna be okay it looks grim but I promise we are a day or two away from bringing back physical therapist NOS so let's go ahead and go over the injury report let's start off with the good news we got the full practice squad right here the players that practice fully that is Josh Hill who is the run blocking maestro an extremely important piece to our run game and he'll catch a touchdown every now and then if you didn't know this dude was playing with the Saints back in 2013 so clearly he's done enough for us to keep him for almost a damn near an entire decade we got Dwayne Washington who's a special teamer and you have someone on the full practice list that has been on here since yesterday and it's a really 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 good sign of news and that is Marshawn Lattimore just great his second straight day of full practicing extremely important because we play a team that might have jerry damn judy on the field on sunday who is an absolute monster he missed last week's contest with an oblique injury but looks to return this week jerry judy for the broncos did not practice with an achilles slash ankle injury so we'll just have to see how that develops either way we'll be having marshawn Lattimore back now in the slightly worse than great news category we have the limited practice players and that starts off with future Hall of Fame running back. Okay, I'll hold my horses. <laughs> running back, Alvin Kamara. It's the same foot injury he played through Tampa with, he played through San Fran with, and he played through the Atlanta game with. He is fine. It will almost certainly be on the field on Sunday. Please do not freak out about Alvin being limited. Uh, he's been limited for two days now, but he's been limited for almost three entire weeks straight. He's just resting up that foot and trying to make it as comfortable as possible for him playing this Sunday. The second player we have on this list is Michael Thomas. It may or may not be the same ankle injury he was dealing with since week one, but he was listed on the injury report last week as someone who is practicing fully, and now he's limited this week, so it could be a step back. We don't really know all the details on Michael Thomas yet. I swear to everything I love, if this dude doesn't play on Sunday, I'm going to punch my damn monitor. Like, this is going to make me so upset because it's way more important that Michael Thomas plays now than it was when Drew Brees was in because we don't have him. We have Taysom throwing the ball, and as you've seen last week, Michael Thomas is that safety blanket. I'm assuming he's just limited to keep a load off that ankle. Um, he just doesn't need to be a full participant, kind of like Alvin Kamara, but we will see. Please, Michael Thomas. 
please. The next player we have in limited is Ty Montgomery with a hamstring injury. Now, let's go on to the grim stuff. Did not practice. We only have really one big player here, and that's Deontay Harris with a neck injury. I'm not sure what his status will be, but it looks like a, a, it will be a pretty, pretty darn big hit if the New Orleans Saints don't have him returning kicks and punts on Sunday. Marquez Callaway will take that position most likely, but that's somewhere you want Deontay to be, and it's not looking great for him to play on Sunday. Next is Andrus Pete. I don't know if I should be happy or sad about this one. I'm kidding. Uh, Andrus Pete's always hurt. Um... He might play, he might not. It really doesn't matter too much. I'm sorry, that's just the honest truth. Now, let's hand the, the mic off to regular Nos, who's going to talk to us about the standings. <laughs> ah, yes, the standings. Something that all Saints fans should enjoy looking at for at least the next about three days, all right? Baskin is glory Saints fans because we are, for now, the one seed in the NFC. I don't know what this is, but... It's kind of hot. Seeing Tampa Bay all the way in sixth seed after Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr. threw a game losing interception with less than two minutes left against the Los Angeles Rams makes my heart feel amazing. The seeding goes like this in the NFC. One, Saints at eight and two. Two, Rams at seven and three. Three, Packers at seven and three. Four, Eagles at three and six. God. The NFC East needs to be removed from the NFL. Number five, we got Seahawks, seven and three. Six, Buccaneers, seven and four. And seven, Arizona Cardinals, six and four. The NFC South standings read like this. Saints, eight and two. Buccaneers, seven and four. Panthers, four and seven. And back at the bottom, the, the Falcons at three and seven. Again, fuck Tampa Bay. Now, with the standings out of the way, and I'm sure everybody's excited that we're one seed for now, let's go ahead and pass it off to Wedding Noss, who is going to go over his candidates for... Please be my husband, players of the week. See you guys in a second. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Back at the altar, boys. I'm going to say it right now. It has been seven weeks since we've indulged in an episode of Booty Butt Cheeks Players of the Week. It's again, please be my husband, players of the week, and I could not be more excited. Let's go ahead and get off with the first player on Please Be My Husband Players of the Week, and that is Taysom Hill. Listen, bro, I understand that you're a Mormon, and same-sex marriage may not be allowed in your religion. I'm not too sure I didn't do my research on that. But regardless of, of that, if it's a rule, we're going to need to break it. We're going to need to break a rule or two because I am definitely marrying you after what you did last week. His performance in his first ever start as an NFL quarterback gave me that feeling that I want injected into my veins. What I'm saying is he had a good day. Taysom Hill was 18 for 23 with 233 passing yards. He had two rushing touchdowns and 51 rushing yards leading the team in rushing. Absolutely mad, dude. This, this guy played fantastic. Second player we have on this list is Michael Thomas. His first appearance on Please Be My Husband Players of the Week this NFL season. Me and Michael Thomas were on thin ice, okay? We'd argue every morning before taking the kids to school. We'd argue every night before going to sleep. He actually had to sleep on the couch a few times because we weren't connecting like we used to because he just wasn't the same player for a little bit. But the injury wore off. And for this week, he played amazing. Me and Michael Thomas are now married again. Nine receptions for 104 yards. That's what we need from MT during Drew Brees' absence. I will be crumbling up and throwing away the signed and printed pieces of paper that were going to be filed for me and Michael Thomas's divorce as it will not be happening anymore at least for now let's get on to the final player the final player is the entire New Orleans Saints defense this includes but not limited to Demario Davis Cameron Jordan Quan Alexander Janoris Jenkins Malcolm Jenkins da David Onyemata Trey Hendrickson Patrick Robinson Marcus Williams essentially everybody whose name doesn't start with PJ and end with Williams because he's garbage. Uh, the defense has been absolutely insane. Eight points per game allowed in the last three weeks combined. They're averaging five sacks per game. They had 11 passes defended and haven't allowed a touchdown in two of their last three games. They held Atlanta to nine points, which were all field goals by Young Way Koo. They held San Fran to 13 points and Tampa to three points as well. 
What else is there to say? I will be marrying all 53 men on this 53-man roster, except for PJ Williams, because we're riding high on a seven-game win streak. Let's go back to regular NOS. Thank you, Wedding NOS. I once again appreciate your extremely non-homosexual and completely heterosexual talk on who you think performed the best on Sunday. Um, will we be having Booty Butchies Player of the Week on, sun on next Thursday, or will we be having Please Be My Husband Players of the Week again? We'll just have to see. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on the channel. I greatly appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, but that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Adios. Zero gravity falling in my first sleep. I stay jumped like I'm jumping on a trampoline.